All right, guys. Part two of this uh, throat experiment with this exhaust. Now, this is a this is a swirl port head. The exhaust port is an end exhaust port. First cut we did is we just put the bigger valve in and we sent it. All I did this time was a quickie radius job, similar to the recent video I did that a lot of guys liked, on a completely stock port. Next thing we're going to do after this is we're going to shape that whole port and see what it is. Now, somebody on the comments asked if it was even worth putting that radius in. We'll answer that question when we get the numbers. Now, the throat is still incredibly small. It's a 1.2 inch throat measured from side to side, which is almost the same as it was last time. It was a 1.21. So it was just enough to take the edge off, and that's it. But when you do it, you got to do a little work to that short side. So that's where you gain some area. So it's a little bit wider top to bottom than a 1.2. We can measure that. Okay, from top to bottom, you measure a 1.3. Now, the 165s that I'm working on, they're about 1.3 all the way around, but it's a different shape of the exhaust port. So keep that in mind. Why don't we take a look at, uh, this is going to be a short one, so we'll take a look at the last flow numbers versus these flow numbers and see what we did. Okay. The heat's already getting me. I got a big cramp on my side. Not good. All right. So what did we do? This was just the seats, and this is a quick burr radius. Let's put some pluses and minuses on. Okay. As far as straight flow, we're better everywhere. We do have some noise around here that we didn't have on the original. Good to notice, right? Now... We topped out at 120 before, or we picked up 20 or so CFM just by doing that radius and having a super tight throat. So let's take a look at our, our speeds. All of the speeds on the left are the first cut. This is with the radius. So what did we do? We did a minus, a plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, minus. Not a complete winner as far as speeds. That's okay, though, because we have a lot more to do. You have to realize that was taken at 0.6. This one was taken at 0.6, so it's 120 versus 142 and change. Big difference as far as how much air is going through that port. You would expect all the speeds to go up, but it doesn't work that way. All right, I've been told I talk way too much, so this is going to be uh, real stubby. I know a lot of you guys know all about that. And uh, I'm kidding, guys. Come on. Take a joke, will you? It's a short video. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.